This is Kevin B. From Let's Talk About Adoption and Foster Care. This is episode number four. We're gonna call it Dream. Dream. Episode number four, Dream. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna get um, the show uh, started. I got my little buddy right here. That's me when I was in Afghanistan. I'll talk about that later. But anyway, let's talk about Dream. First of all, um, I know there was a lot of questions about why is your name, you know, Skeeter? I didn't say it today, but yeah, uh, better known as Skeeter. Uh, Kevin B, better known as Skeeter. Uh, Skeeter was a name that was given to me because I was so small uh, when I was born. Uh, and when I was given over to my foster care, uh, my first set of foster care parents, um, you know, I was very small. I wasn't bigger than a mosquito. And so uh, they, they, they called me Skeeter. Only really two people know me by that name. Uh, and only one of them uh, is alive. Well, actually three. One of them is alive. Uh, that's my, uh, my first foster brother. And he's the only one that actually calls me that. And I, I, uh, I kind of like disengaged from the name. But, you know, over the years, and as I uh, started maturing and understanding who I, who I am, I decided to just embrace ev all, everything you know, because it's a part of me. So um, you don't have to call me that. I, I, you know, it's more of a self-therapy uh, 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 for me. Uh, but uh, that's the story behind uh, Skeeter. <laughs> that's the story behind Skeeter. We want to give out a shout out to um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yes, uh, Shining Star. So um, we want to give out a shout out to, to them. Okay. Uh, we are um, going to jump right into uh, episode number four, Dream. Dream. Dream is an acronym that I came up with. Stands for determination, embrace. Uh, let, me, let me back up. Determination, responsibility, embrace, attitude, and motivation. I'm a little tired. <laughs> but anyway, that's what it is. Now, being an adoptee, or uh, and a, 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 a person out of the foster care system. Sometimes your dreams and sometimes your 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 goals are blindsided. I'm here to tell you that whatever cards are dealt with you in life, you can flip it. You just have to find your vehicle that you can thrust upon and 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 move forward. And that's hard to do. Uh, some people uh, get on get into their music. Uh, some people get into sports. Some people get into weightlifting and fitness. Some people get into their computers. Whatever that is, you have to find it and you have to, you know, grab a hold onto it. And, and, and that field will help you navigate through all the emotional uh, and drama uh, and trauma that, that you have to deal with. D, determination. You have to be determined to not let your current situation dictate dictate to you how you live your life and how people view you. You can't let people uh, put you in a box. You have to be determined not to allow that and you have to be determined to succeed because you can. Responsibility, R, be responsible for your actions. Don't use your current situation as an excuse to act out or um, to, to have somebody to feel sorry for you. Take responsibility for yourself. Because at the end, it's about the choices you made. Somebody made a bad choice. That's why you, some of us wound up in the situation at the end. But don't um, have the lack of responsibility, but be responsible for your own actions. Control what you can control. Don't let people control you, but you control what you control. E, embrace. I like E. I like to embrace all my failures because I'm not perfect. Now, I've been through a couple of marriages. Uh, I'm not close to my daughter, who I recently found out I had, um, you know, uh, or verify that I had. And, 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 and you know, and, and I, I carry that close to my heart. I wish I could change things, but I embrace my failures. I'm not making no excuses. Uh, becoming a better father, 
uh, become a better grandfather, a better husband. These things I have to embrace and I've learned through my mistakes and through my mistakes, I, I hope to share my mistakes and so, so other people don't make that mistake. The bottom line is we make choices. Everybody makes choices. Some of them we can overcome and some of them we can't. Attitude. It's all about attitude. Think attitude. You know, I, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to overcome this obstacle. I'm not going to let people judge me because oh, I'm adopted or I'm a foster care kid or, or people asking me why I changed my names or people ask me how come I don't look like uh, or my, my adopted parents and stuff like that. We go through so much mental things that, you know, we don't know how to deal with it. So we just got to get that right attitude. And it's hard, believe me. It took me almost 60 years to even figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. Motivation. We got to be motivated in whatever we do, whether it's uh, motivated in your music, uh, motivated in, you know, uh, your fitness, motivated in succeeding in life, motivated in sharing your story, motivated in writing a book. You just have to be motivated. You know, let your experiences motivate you to succeed. Because we all need to be motivated at times, and sometimes it's hard to be motivated. This this person right here, when uh, before I went in the military, I had no confidence. I had any, I didn't have anything, no motivation. Uh, I wasn't embracing my responsibilities. I wasn't determined. You know, um, my attitude was bad. I let people, you know, uh, basically um, uh, run my 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 emotions. So I, when I joined the military, that was my personal vehicle. I thought I was only going to join for a couple of years. I wound up making a career out of it. Through the military, it gave me the confidence. It gave, I wasn't the same person after three or four years. I became another person. I became someone that people can look up to. I became someone that was a leader. Uh, I, 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 I became someone that was able to follow. Uh, the military done so many great things for me. A lot of people talk bad about it, but for me, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was able to become a drill sergeant, you know, putting about 5,000 soldiers in the military. I became an equal opportunity advisor. Uh, I became a squad leader, platoon sergeant, uh, a non-commissioned officer in charge of a detachment. All these different things uh, built confidence in me, you know. Um, were there some rough times? Were there some times that I could not figure out things? Yes, it was, but I was determined I uh, took my responsibility seriously. I embraced failure. My attitude was adjusted and I became motivated. So I wound up staying 20 plus years in the military, which was the best thing that happened to me. So what is your vehicle? What are you going to do to change your situation? Let's not think about where you're at now and, um, and, 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 and blame everybody. Because the bottom line is, these are the cars that has been dealt to you. These are the cars that was dealt to me. And I had to figure out what am I going to do about it. I had to figure out what I was going to do about it. And so, you know, I didn't let them figure it out for me. I didn't. I didn't let them figure it out for me at all. So basically, uh, that is the end of this episode. Um, next week, hopefully, we'll have our guest on. This is Adopted Life, Amanda. And uh, we're going to, you know, hopefully get her on next week. And it'll be episode number five. And until then, stay strong, stay confident.